probably a lot of preparation that goes into preparing for the game. I mean, you have all the vendors, the, the cops, all the events going on, and all the tents and everything. Really, we get started pretty early with uh, the grounds crew. Uh, we'll get here and uh, set the field. Typical week, uh, we'll start painting the field on, uh, on Wednesday, lasting all the way up until Friday. We've got a crew of about anywhere from two to three people getting the paint down, preparing for the game. They'll check the painting of the field, if anything needs to be touched up, and then just general other field regulations, make sure everything matches up to uh, the specs. As far as the painting scheme is concerned, uh, that was something that Coach came up with, as far as the UCF gold and white. And this year, Coach and I talked about it a little bit. We haven't done black here in the past few years, and so we decided to add a little bit of black, so it's been a, been a nice touch. Our students arrive, and everything that we didn't get done the day before, the, the two days prior maybe for a football setup, we'll go ahead and get done either outside the stadium in Iowa Plaza, or in the stadium, the concourse, the suites, the seating bowl. Um, just anything needs to be touched up or redone, ready for game day. I work for center plate at UCF and on game day we come in about six hours before kickoff and we make sure that the concourse is ready to go with snow cones, cotton candy, all of the concession stands are going to open, pretzel portables, ice cream, chicken fingers, quesadillas. Just make sure everyone's good to go, that the health inspector has approved everyone, make sure the fire marshal has approved everyone, and then we just get ready for game time. We definitely have a partnership with center plate concessions here on campus, there are uh, concessionaire and it's really just a great partnership and communication. The week before our game, we're here all week. We have our third parties coming in to set up, like the snow cones, cotton candy, chicken tenders, quesadillas, and then we have our staff setting up the concession stands, making sure that they have all the product they'll need for game day. Down on the field, we have multiple people in different areas, kind of in the north end zone and south end zone, getting all of the recognitions on the field, um, getting people out there for those recognitions, whether it's a team or an individual. And then I'm on the headset in our booth, kind of coordinating everything from a big picture perspective, making sure that everything's going on the video board at the proper time, making sure the, the uh, right music is happening, and then coordinating everything with our PA announcer. Uh, we get here bright and early for an eight o'clock game. We're here probably about uh, 11 o'clock noon. Uh, we want to make sure everything is set up properly for the media so they get out the stats, uh, news and notes, everything they need as soon as they arrive here in the press box, they have it all sitting right for them. So uh, we have a big staff, about seven full time and a, a, lot of big, a lot of students on staff as well that you know, we make sure that everyone's taken care of and they can get their job done. We feel that we're another team here in UCF Athletics. We have our sports teams, but uh, we really feel that facilities and event operations, including our grounds department, we are a team, uh, we depend on each other. Uh, we get along very well. We have to. We spend a lot of time together with uh, not only football, but our other sports and our other events going on. So put a smile on our face and, and team up and, and get the work done together. What's up, fans? Come out to Bright House Stadium and watch us take on SMU on November 3rd.